once again, thank you to the presenters who have the courage to speak in front of us. for listening and giving my generation a voice. Too often, we all fall into the same snare of apathy and indifference. We choose to ignore problems simply because they're too hard, or too uncomfortable, or too awkward, or require too much effort from us. These presentations have only shown us the problems, but it is up to us to be fighting for these solutions when we walk out those gym doors. We all have ideas on this. On we all have ideas on how to change the world. And that is what our yearly theme has been about. Leading the charge to change what is evil and wicked. What I have learned this year is that being a leader is more than just calling out problems and then giving solutions. Leadership is an action that we take every day by choosing what is good and what is right in the eyes of the Lord and encouraging others to do the same. The showcase has not been about only about showing what we know, but it also has been about showing what we are doing with what we know. Faith without works is dead, and in the same way, a conviction without action is useless. These presentations have served as the start of conversations that should carry over into our homes, into our workplaces, and into our relationships. We should be debating, discussing, and most importantly, acting on the topics that we are hearing today. But well, we don't seem to be. Annapolis area Christian school. We're supposed to be different. It's in the name. We, well, we have, I know we have come to the showcase to celebrate, but shouldn't we also reflect on this past year? I've spoken a lot about leadership and community, but saying the school, or any institution for that matter, is like that all the time is just not true. We have ideals that we can try our best to strive out for, but the reality is we straddle the line between healthy and unhealthy community every day. And that's real. We live in a broken world that's full of broken people, but being a Christian means more than that. It means being a light to those same people. It means being a castle on a hill. I am the first to admit I'm not a perfect person, but there is a difference between being a Christian and being like the rest of the world. Annapolis area Christian school. But don't get me wrong. I love this school. I love the teachers and I love the community. But it is a Christian environment, and maybe that means more than something we can tack onto a website or a sign. Every eighth grader is on our Gen Z speeches. A project which is based off the very idea of what we can be doing to make the world a better place. But for some of us, for some of us, our mission was to get a good grade. Rather, when our mission that was given by the creator of the world is to change the world. And that's not easy. And I'm sure we can all agree that eighth grade, by no means, is easy. But it is an important time of growth, and I've learned so much about what is required in order to set a Christian example and lead. Ladies and gentlemen, this class of 2021 We'll be entering ninth grade soon. And hopefully these same values and lessons will be taught and carry over to the future for all of us. And you seventh graders in the bleachers, we see you. We have been watching you. And the sixth graders are watching you. You will be taking our place as leaders of the school next year. And don't wait till the end of the year to recognize what it means to be a leader and what you can be doing. Because the quicker you learn that, the better these people in this school will be. As you can already see from the gallery, the eighth grade has matured this year so far. And hopefully, we can continue to grow. We can see the achievements that God has allowed us to have. And it is only by God's grace that we are allowed to be leaders and that we are allowed to serve. To honor him once again, I call upon Flynn McCain to lead us in closing prayer. Please bow your heads. Dear Lord, your presence here today with us is amazing. We thank you that you have given these speakers the peace they needed to do their Gen Z speeches. 
We thank you that you gave the eighth graders the effort and the motivation to do all this work shown today. Lord, we thank you for all the teachers who were patient with us through all our blunders and mistakes. Again, we thank the parents who encouraged and helped the students with their projects. Most of all, Lord, we thank you for everything you have done for us, even though we have not returned the favor. We ask that you help the rest of the year go smoothly and that we finish out the year strong. In your name we pray. Amen. Rest of our showcasing. Thank you so much for coming and listening to our speeches and showing what you've seen today. God is good. God is good.